Am I still aboard Megan's ship? It feels odd. What's up, ladies and gents? I'm your host, Center one and of course, welcome back to more Dishonor 2. This is mission number two, which is a huge, huge mission, which is not going to be covered in just one video. There's going to be multiple videos for this specific mission. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying, of course, and let's do... Whoa! What is this place? <laughs> Where am I? Now this is where the game is going to open up and really allow us to use those powers that we have come to know and love. Also, interesting fact is if you guys, uh, you know, if you guys like enough of the videos and you're watching the walkthroughs for both Emily and Corvo, there is also another chance of me doing something moving closer, watching an even more challenging walkthrough, which means not to add any special powers, and you'll see that coming up. Empress Emily Caldwin, I am a friend of your father's from the bad old days. I never expected us to meet. I watched your mother die at the hands of schemers who wanted your little empire. Then you were rescued by a man in a strange mask. I thought that was the end of the excitement. But someone yanked the rug from under your feet. You've lost your throne and your father. And I promise, Delilah won't just give them back. So, what are you prepared to do about it? Your Imperial Majesty? And are you clever enough to do it without spilling a river of blood? I asked Corvo those questions 15 years ago. This is the moment that changed him. Now it's your turn. So again, as you can see, we can accept the outsider's mark or we can reject the offer. Now, again, if I can get enough comments and enough likes on all of the videos that I'm putting out and get enough kind of into it, maybe, just maybe, we will do a reject the offer and see what type of walkthrough that could be. But it's going to be up to, of course, all of you. But for now, we are going to accept the outsider's mark. And for some strange reason, I feel like the voice of this guy reminds me of the penguin on Gotham. Does anyone know if that is true or not? Please let me know in the comments below. It burns from the inside. I feel like I'm standing at the edge of something. All right, so we have Far Reach. They're true. This is different than Corvo's blink ability. So press LT to rapidly pull yourself toward the target surface. Primarily means of locomotion, so we pretty much... Upgrading this power, let's see, decelerate if you are falling. Time is slowed as you aim for reach. Pull objects towards you and catch them in mid-air. Pull enemies towards you and kill or incapacitate them in mid-air. So there's obviously different, different ways that we can use this ability. So it's technically Incredible. the same thing, but obviously a new kind of look towards it, which is really cool. This is how I'm going to save my father and reclaim the throne. And I can definitely tell you that there are some subtle differences, of course, between her version of this mission and Corvo's. Plus, I just love the way that this looks. What is that? It feels familiar. I know you. Do you remember? It's been so long, and you've been through so much. Even as an echo of myself, it's good to know you're there. Mother? You're here, but you're not here. In my hand, but somewhere else. Only the last of my essence with you for a while. If only I could reach across this great expanse and take you into my arms. 
But I have this to offer. My gift and my curse. Summon me to your hand, and I will guide you when I can. The Heart. So, equipping the heart in your left hand helps you locate bone charms or runes. The heart will begin to beat and glow when you are facing a bone charm or rune, and will beat faster as you get closer. The heart will whisper secrets if you press LT at particular locations or while looking at a person. So clearly you can see that's uh, the way that we need to go, but what is over here? You guys know me. But it doesn't look like there's anything over here. I always just like to look anyways, just to be safe. I really just love the look of this. It's, it's amazing, you know, was it four years ago? Dishonored 1 came out, and we thought it looked so amazing, and now we look at this and we're just like, wow. Truly, truly blown away. Especially since I'm playing this in 4K. So you can bring it back up, so you can hear some more conversations with her on enemies and stuff. You shouldn't be here. No one should. Who is Delilah, really? How could she? I don't understand. Thousands of years, few have seen this place. Three were empresses. There's a strange power in this place. I will never walk in the sun again. I know it now. There's no one quite like Delilah. I watched her pull herself up from blood and filth until she was in a position to steal from the wisest scholars in the Empire. Survival and ambition, art and magic, with a cunning that makes fun and sick offense of those around her, all of it leading to what you saw at Dunwall Tower. Delilah's playing the long game. She took all the abuse the world could deal out, and now she has a crown. But I'll let you in on a secret. She's got her eyes set on a much greater prize. When I was 10 years old, bored with my lessons, I dreamed about sword fighting and sailing the ocean. Now I'm realizing that the world is stranger than I ever imagined. Everything I know has been turned on its head, but I'm dealing with it the best I can. When you look at the great jeweled map at Dunwall Tower, Karnaka is the southernmost port in the Empire. A fat, red ruby. That's how I always thought of it. Up close, the city smells like the ocean and strange spices. Up close, it's a tangled story of blood and ambition. The birthplace of my father. Megan Foster is a stranger, but there's something that makes me want to trust her, despite her guarded disposition. She got me out of Dunwall, and I need answers. Delilah and the Duke make me look like a murderer, using the Crown Killer to butcher my political adversaries. They took what was mine, and I'm gonna get it back. And here we are, of course, back in reality. <clears throat> and we're going to continue on now. It's pretty much telling you there are uh, underground black market shops where you can pick up items.
So this also shows you that there is the main room there, which is a room that we need to get to, and also the storage room. So if you look here, we cannot enter. The door is blocked, but you can see that there's an entrance way that you will be able to get in there. Must be cursed. Daft old man. This is some shit. Back to that city. And here is the main room. All sharp metal and shit. What I'm going to do is we're going to try to make our way around get up on the back side. Again, you can also do this here. So, we'll bring up our charms. And let's set this to up. So the heart's always going to be up. So we can tell that we have a rune, a rune <laughs> that is actually located pretty close. So we're going to go ahead and jump to it. We know where it is. But you're going to want to be hurry or you're going to want to hurry up because there is some crazy uh, creatures that will come and try to kill you if you don't hurry. Nice. So, we got a new rune, which means that we can actually upgrade our powers. Uh, those are our main objectives. The Dread for Whale. So, we gotta meet with Megan. Optional, locate the Black Market Shop, which is... Um, I don't think it's on here yet. That's in... Uh, where we're going. Locate the black market shop in this district. And we have unlocked the storage door. So let's head over to our powers. And see what we have. We have a total of three right now so we can unlock a few things here. If we wanted to we could get pull objects so we can pull objects towards you and catch them in midair. Includes corpses and unconscious bodies. Um, if you're falling, time is briefly slowed as you aim far reach. So this is probably means uh, if you were... Hold on, let me make sure I'm reading this right. If aiming far reach while falling, time slows, allowing you to move with more precision and to change directions. That would cost two to get that, and that would cost two to get that, so we just have to figure out which... But well, let's take a look at all the ones that we actually do have. We have Mesmerize, Summon a Void Spirit to Enthrall Humans or Hounds. Now, these powers are different than Corvo's. Shadow Walk. During Shadow Walk, your visibility is... Okay, assume a stealthier form for a short time. Unfortunately, we need four to get this, but that's something I'm probably leaning towards getting, of course. Domino, link human targets so they die or fall unconscious together. Now, that is pretty cool. So we might use that for unconscious purposes. Doppelgamer. Summon a shade of yourself that attracts enemies. Dark vision, see better in darkness. Strength, vitality. All these are pretty much the same for everybody. Reflexes, agility, shadow kill, bone charm crafting. You can create your own bone charms. And bloodthirsty. But we're going to wait, I think, for the shadow walk. The and it says we need four. South. My father's birthplace. So we will wait until we get another one, and then we will equip that. As you can see, this is another little kind of area that you can get yourself into here. They are attracted to rapid movement and sound. Keep that in mind, too, for later. So again, we're going to go ahead and use our little trick here to... Dearest Emily, or must I say, your Imperial Majesty... I'll always I miss my lessons with Anton Sokolov. He made so many clever devices during my mother's time. committed by this so-called crown killer. When I left Crystal years ago, I 
I swore I'd never again take part in any further political matters. I've done my share of bad things and some good. Always tinkering, painting, or living life with gusto. That's Sokolov. Here, at the bottom of the Empire, the cobblestones smell of death and corruption. I'm staying with an associate, Megan Foster, aboard her vessel, the Dreadful Whale. We'll leave for Dunwall in the morning, as soon as the tides are willing. I keep thinking of the way sweet Jessamine was... Father, and I fear it might be your turn to face such turmoil. I know Corvo would protect you with his life, but please do not trust anyone. There you are, old man. I was asked to pay you a visit. Wait, what's wrong with you? Megan! <clears throat> Off we go, Sokolov, to somewhere more private. It looks like the Overland route to the Adermeyer Institute goes through the carriage station. So, the Crown Killer was a tool of the Duke's coup. The murders had a calculated effect. Sokolov seems so much older now. Why is this here? It's Delilah. Anton started it just before he was taken. They've got history, but he wouldn't say more. Right. You've explained part of it. But what were you and Sokolov doing here? The old man loved Karnaka, but he'd caught wind of a conspiracy tied to the Crown Killer. He wanted to warn Corvo. There were reports about tensions rising, corruption, street violence. I didn't give it much mind. Usually the local authorities resolve that sort of thing. The new Duke has let things slide. But Sokolov concluded he might be the head of the conspiracy. He came in looking shocked, and if you've heard his after-dinner stories, you know that's unusual. We were going to set up for Dunwall, but something happened. The Crown Killer. Yes, the hatch ripped open and Sokolov screamed. All I caught was a glimpse of someone carrying him across the deck. I followed as long as I could toward Adermeyer Institute. It's run by the alchemist Hypatia. Maybe the Duke is using a patient of hers, the Crown Killer. Adermeyer, all right, I'll get inside. The Crown Killer has to be eliminated, and if the alchemist will cooperate, maybe I can learn something about what happened to Sokolov. Wish me luck. If you need my luck, Sokolov's as good as dead. When you get done at the Institute, disable the Watchtower. Once it's down, I'll bring the boat around. We'll take the skiff to the shore when you're ready. Mortimer Ramsey. The Duke couldn't have pulled off the coup without someone inside the City Watch. I don't know Duke Luca Abel, but Corvo served under Luca's father and said Theodanus was a good man. Delilah. My aunt, if that's really true. She has a twisted way of looking at the world. This Dr. Hypatia, she seems to represent the good that's possible within the Empire. That's a very, very bright. <laughs> As you can see, there is just so many small, little, minute details that you can really, really appreciate it. And guys, I'm not gonna find everything. So if you see something and I miss it, put it in the comments below. Let me know, hey Strain, it's all right, you missed this here. And um, just to, you know, do it in a nice and friendly way because I know there's going to be things that uh, I completely miss here. I'm trying to look around as much as possible, of course, but you can't get everything unless you spend hours and hours and hours. And I wanna get these videos out to you guys. But I will still do my best and look around, of course.
Alright, so we need to go into that little room that we were not able to get into before, if you remember correctly. And so to do that, we need to go up. Here's where we came from. So, if we go up, we can actually get out... Uh, I think it's on this side. There it is. Alright, we have made it inside. Pick up a few little things here. Not too much in here. And I don't believe there's any... Push out into the harsh world. You are alone, but for a few hours. You know, I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is uh, glitching out on me right now. Yes, it is. See? I can't even open the door. So right now, I'm supposed to have a... Uh, my heart supposed to be equipped. But it is not. But I can still shoot things, invisibly. <laughs> I'm sure that'll be fixed. Uh... Once the game actually comes out, it's still a little early before the game is actually out yet, so... And this is the first time this has happened to me, where it's, um, it's just not showing up. But again, I'm sure there's gonna be a way. Once we load something, it'll come back. Beautiful, beautiful game. Alright guys, well hopefully you're enjoying the video so far. We're going to go ahead and head to our next location, which there are many side missions to do and a lot of things to discover. So again, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you are enjoying the walkthrough, and of course I will see you on the next one. Ready for me to drop you at the docks? Let's go see the streets where my father grew up. Off we go then. It won't do to be recognized.